Hey guys, welcome to another video and thanks for clicking on this one. In this video, let's talk about the credit card debt levels in the United States. Now, why is this important? Well, we all use credit cards. I'm sure you have a credit card. I have a credit card too. But here's the deal. The way we use our credit cards will tell on how our finances will evolve over time, especially if we don't pay off our balances on a regular basis. And that means every month. So let's talk about that. And before we get into it, if you're new here, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, thanks for clicking on this video. I hope that you find value in this one. And if you do, don't forget to stick around. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is the quarterly report by the government that shows the credit card levels in the United States. I mean, it talks about a lot more than just credit cards, but let's focus on the credit card aspect, okay? We're just gonna leave out the student loans and car loans and all that stuff. Let's focus on credit cards. Credit card balance is increased by 27 billion dollars to reach 1.14 trillion dollars in just one quarter so the total debt right now is about 1.14 trillion and in a quarter it increased by 27 billion dollars here's a question for you who do you think is gaining those money like who is it going to, whose pocket is it going to i mean it's not my pocket and it's not your pocket it's going into those banks pockets right they are the ones making all the money. They are the ones getting all the interest. And this is where you need to be very careful about how much you have on credit cards and how much debt you're carrying on those credit cards. Not to not talk of the importance of having very low interest rates on those credit cards. But let's talk about this also. What is the current average rate on credit cards right now? Currently, we have about 20%, about 20.6 something percent on the average credit card. Let's assume that you have $5,000 credit card balance and your interest rate is 20%. Do you want to guess how much it's going to take you to pay off your credit card if you are paying $200 per month? According to this, it's going to take you two years and nine months to pay off the balance with a total interest payment of $1,521.71. So in comparison, let's assume that we have an investment with a starting amount of $5,000 and uh, we have a return rate of 20%, which is compounded annually with an additional contribution of $200 every month, our results would be an ending balance of $12,948 with a total contributions of $4,800 with a total interest of $3,148. That is significant in my opinion because one, we haven't made these rich people richer. That's the truth about it. We haven't made the, made the banks richer. We haven't made those CEOs richer. We've made ourselves richer by doing this. And this is why we have to be very careful about how we put money on our credit cards. You'd be surprised to learn that as of June 2024, half or well, 50% of credit card holders carry credit card debt from month to month, according to Bankrate's latest credit card debt survey. The other surprising thing, or not so surprising, is 36% of US adults have more credit card debt than emergency savings according to bank rates 2024 emergency savings report. We know that majority of people use credit cards in order to get rewards, but here's the deal. Two in three Americans with debt are chasing credit card rewards. And this is the problem because in the process of chasing those rewards, you end up with a debt. And with that debt means you pay interest and make paying that interest means that do you actually make any headway by using these credit cards. Now here's something you can do. There are different methods you can pay down credit card debt. Some would use the snowball method and some will use the high interest rate method. The focus here is just pay as much as you can towards the debt. But for example, if you're gonna go with the snowball method, you're going to pay the credit card with the least amount of debt on it and you pay it regularly to pay it off and once it's paid off, whatever you're contributing to that credit card, you start to roll it into the next debt in order to pay that off as well. So if it was $100 you initially pay into one credit card, you roll that $100 into another credit card plus whatever you pay and you roll that amount continuously until you pay off all your credit cards. Uh, the next method is to focus on the credit card with the highest interest rate. Now the problem with this is most credit cards do have high interest rates. So my Philosophy with that is, you know, cut back on all the credit cards you're using by using the consolidated uh, debt approach. Maybe you consolidate your debt into one credit card and then you pay it off aggressively. Preferably, you want to do those zero transfer credit card um, balances, if that's what they're called, uh, where you transfer your credit card into a zero um, percent interest rate credit card for maybe two years or maybe one year. And then within that one year, you aggressively 
pay down that debt. You don't want to carry any balance on that credit card because if after one year, what will happen is that they would start to charge you a lot of interest and you're back to the same boat again with even more money on the table. We don't want that. The goal is to be able to control our finances. We want to reduce our debt and build wealth. Now understand that there could be good debt and bad debt. Credit cards generally fall under bad debt unless you get a 0% uh, interest rate credit card. Then maybe it may be good depending on what you do with that money and if you pay it off before the 0% uh, is uh, elapsed. Otherwise, you'd have to pay a lot of money on it. By the way, if you're finding value in this video, please don't forget to drop a like on the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It goes a long way. The other approach you can take is to pay more than minimum balance due. Now, the best approach is to pay it all off at once within the month the money is used. But if you're not going to pay everything off within that month, pay more than the minimum balance in order to reduce the total interest accrued over time. The next thing is once you've paid off your credit card debt, make sure that you don't go back to that same spot anymore. Make sure you don't do the same things that got you there. Make sure that you avoid taking on extra debt. So if you need to cut your credit cards, like Dave Ramsey say, then you should do it. Do what is best for you and let your finances work in your favor. 